everyone and welcome to the very first interview brought to you by the Helpnet. The Helpnet is an international platform for online therapy that connects clients to counselors or coaches who are best suited for them. And now we're doing interviews with some of the therapists on our platform to give you a glimpse into their lives, why they do what they do and how they got started. So for today's interview, we have a very special guest here with us, Carol Nadir. She's a life therapist and a counselor from Lebanon. She is also the vice president of the Happy Childhood Foundation. Having struggled through terrible times and traumas herself, she has been dedicating her life to helping others through the different methods that she has acquired through her own healing journey. Thank you, Anushka, and the HelpNet platform for hosting me. I'm really looking forward to sharing stories of my journey with you. I wanted to ask you, how did you get started as a life therapist specifically? My journey as a life therapist started through volunteering. The first 10 years were about jails, men and women. So the prisoners had life sentence or death penalty. Uh, but at that time, I thought I was too young, barely 25, to be the therapist of people who committed crimes. So I thought it was wiser to get to them through uh, art and craft uh, courses uh, under the cover to restore their dignity, teaching them new skills, help them create objects they would sell and support their families. So it was through these workshops that we established a connection. Issues were raised, discussed, challenged. And this is what I call, you know, therapy in disguise. Uh, and then I had two missions in India, in your beautiful country, in an orphanage, the Mother and Child Foundation in Kerala. Our foundation, which I'll tell you about later, financed the program there. So I had to go for an audit and help them optimize their resources. I spent most of my time with the kids, you know, just doing with them any kind of therapies, through drawing, uh, art and craft, group challenges, meditation. And I can tell you for a fact that those were the most fulfilling and beautiful days of my life. And then the next 10 years were about rehabilitation centers, mostly neurological and psychological support. I used to deal with adults, but mostly children, suffering from spine cord injury, head trauma, strokes, uh, mental health issues, genetic disease. So you see these 20 something years were a journey at the core of suffering. And they really showed me that uh, Helping others was my true calling, the meaning and purpose of my life. And I think this journey was possible because very young I understood that it's a privilege when you, you're the person who can give, who can share without expecting anything in return. And you know this famous motto uh, saying that what is not given is lost was a guideline through the different stages of my life.